every year we need to store the snow plow and make sure that when we put it back in the winter that it's going to be in good shape. Now we're going to clear the place where we store the plow. You need some room to work so you might as well have it cleared out. Now that we've got a clean spot we can drive the truck and put the plow right down in this area. Now we'll just drop the plow to the ground. You want to put rocks or bricks underneath the plow so when you pull it off it's already at the right height. Putting the plow back on is already a challenge. These bolts have got to have just the right tension. If the plow's too high it'll be hard to get the bolt in. If it's too low it'll be hard to get the bolt in. I use this big pipe to raise and lower the tension on the bolt so we can get the bolts in and out. So we'll unthread everything. We'll use the lever to raise and lower until the bolt comes out. Then we'll do the same thing to the other side. Trying to get these bolts out without this lever is difficult. I guess there's a system to everything. Now we can just pull that bar out. Seems like no matter how much grease you put on these fittings, they never come out. These are the two hydraulic line connects and they should be quick connects. You always gotta pull out the oil can. Then you gotta pull out the wrenches. Now these are quick connects, so-called quick connects. Well, here it comes. See, that was quick. And let's get that other one off. I like to take the belt off the hydraulic pump. There's no reason to be building pressure all summer long. A couple bolts and this comes right off. Now the real trick is don't lose the belt. Now we can disconnect the chain linkage. That raises and lowers the plow. Now we can remove the bar that the piston is connected to. You could leave this on, but it just kind of hangs out there. If we leave it on, everybody says, what's that? So we'll just take out these two bolts and then we're gonna wire the piston to the front. I actually like to wire it and then zip tie it so it doesn't rattle. The wire only acts as a safety just in case the zip tie breaks, which as you can imagine, the zip tie has broken before. Now it's tight and won't rattle. So I don't want to get dirt in these quick connects, so I tape them up. So we are finally free and can pull back the truck. So we are free from the plow, but there's still some prep work. We want to make sure everything's ready and protected for next season. Now we're going to take the chains off the wheel Instead of taking the chains off, I use the spare tire. In fact, the spare tire is the one with the chains on it. Here's our Taekwondo in action. All right, it didn't come off. Let's try it again. And again, I wanna see it fall. Enough of this. We've got work to do. Just pull it off manual. It's such a pain to get these chains on and off. That's why we just leave them on the spare. Now that we've got these bolts all tightened up to 80 foot pounds, the Suburban's ready to go, but we need to tend to the plow. You do not want these pistons to pit. So I take a rag, I wrap it around, and I put some motor oil on it. If these pistons go bad, you'll have to rebuild it. Not fun. You can also pour oil all over the cylinder and then wrap it. The worst thing you could do is just let the elements beat these things up. Because these are side-to-side -side pistons, you can't just retract them. Now we'll put plenty of grease on our so-called quick connects and then hope that someday they will be quick connects. They do move real nice. And to protect these from the elements, we'll put them in a bag. So next season, when we pull them out, maybe they'll just work. And now we'll put all the nuts and bolts back. We'll put some anti-seize on them and put them into place so they're not lost when we have to put the plow on again next year. Nothing worse than having to look for the nuts and bolts while the snow is flying. And nobody wants to fight with rust when your hands are cold. It's so nice when the machines are well maintained. Okay, well we won't lose this one. Okay, well it's official. It's time for breakfast. This plow will be ready for the snow. Well, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.